Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to read through the full article here pretty much. There's a link in the description. It's in regards to a pretty horrific domestic assault incident that occurred Tuesday evening around 8pm in a suburb called Mount St. Thomas, which is in Wollongong. Wollongong is about an hour, hour and a half south of Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Uh, this happened around 8pm on Tuesday and a scumbag man aged 41 is accused of verbally abusing a 48 year old woman uh, who was with her one year old daughter at the time and this scumbag they were having an an incident it seems to be at their home it seems like they're the man and the woman are partners we don't know if the man is the father of the one year old girl we could be could not be we don't know but essentially there was an argument at the family home. The woman fled into another room with her one-year-old daughter uh, and uh, tried to barricade herself in this room. But the scumbag 41-year-old man essentially forced his way in. And guess what the scumbag did? This is fucking unbelievable. He poured petrol over the one-year-old girl. Fucking hell, petrol over the one-year-old girl. The mother frantically tried to wash the petrol off of the girl, um, at which point the scumbag 41-year-old man smashed a glass over the mother's head. What a fucking psycho. Poured petrol over a one-year-old girl. I mean, the smashing a glass over the mother's head, that's pretty significant, but... It pales in comparison. Hopefully that's not offensive. But uh, I mean the main aspect here. Is that he poured petrol. Over a one year old girl. Again we don't know if that's his own child. It was the woman's child. That seemingly. I'm kind of guessing at this point. Seemingly he lives with. This was a domestic assault. They seem by my interpretation. To have been uh, living together. Thankfully. The woman, the 48-year-old, was able to flee. Don't know how she managed it, but she was able to flee with her one-year-old daughter. And um, thankfully, the one-year-old girl was treated by paramedics. She did not need to go to hospital. So, I mean, there's a, a very big blessing there. This could have turned absolutely the worst case horrific. And thankfully, it didn't. Um... But this 41-year-old man absolutely needs to be locked up for a very long time, in my opinion. He's being charged with three counts of assault, destroying or damaging property, stalking or intimidating with the intention to cause fear and physical harm. So perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps they don't live together. I, I, I do do a little bit of speculation when I read through these articles. A lot of these articles don't provide the full details. And sometimes they do provide the full details and I merely miss them because I try to do things pretty quickly. Um, but it could be that he doesn't live at the home. It could be that he's a stalker or was otherwise trying to intimidate this woman. Um, but there we go. There, there is the full details there. So I'll wrap things up here. Thankfully, this one-year-old girl is unharmed. She did not need to go to hospital. Um the 48-year-old woman had a glass smashed over her head. We're not told of any requirements for her to have any treatment for that. Um, so I'm presuming that no serious damage was done there. And thankfully, this guy, this psycho, did not... I'm sorry to say this. Well, you know what I mean. This is like a horrific thing I'm about to say. Thankfully, this 41-year-old psychopath did not do the worst thing. Which, of course, would have been to light the one-year-old girl that he covered with petrol. I mean, presumably, that's where it was headed. So, well done to the mother for getting out of there, you know. Women generally, not always, generally, are far weaker physically than men. Not always, of course. Um, but generally speaking... Women don't have the physicality of a man. Uh, so I've got to presume that she did very well. Uh, she act, acted like a mama bear. She protected herself. She, but arguably more importantly, 
She protected her one-year-old daughter. She did absolutely the right thing. Um, so well done to the mother. She saved her own daughter's life, I would say. And again, look, we need this 41-year-old man to, um, to suffer real consequences. I mean, I would be thinking attempted murder. Or so, I mean, it was heading that way. Uh, but if, if such a charge isn't applicable, I'm no lawyer, I'm no prosecutor. If uh, attempted murder isn't suitable, applicable, then give this guy the maximum penalty for what you can charge him with. Uh, which I would hope is quite a bit for counts three counts of assault and the stalking and intimidating. Uh, hopefully there would be a long jail sentence there. I'll wrap things up here, guys. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate all of your feedback, all of your support. Uh, take care.